Welcome back, everybody. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to set up Firefox with multiple profiles and multiple icons on your desktop. So when you click on them, they're going to open up a different profile for each different icon. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to start with coming to the Firefox and adding it to your desktop. You're going to want to right click on the icon and copy it. And then you can go ahead and right click anywhere on the desktop and hit paste and hit paste a second time. So now you have two icons. Then go ahead and open up the first one that you put onto your desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, you come up to the URL bar, and you're going to want to go ahead and type in about semicolon profiles. So this is specific for Linux. It should work the same for Windows, though. And this is Linux Mint. We're going to want to go ahead and create a new profile. So say you wanted to use this for Amazon. And let's create one more. We'll call it Google. Now you can choose a different profile um, or a different folder where you want the profile. I'm going to leave it here. I found using one word is best. You can use like an underscore or a hyphen, I believe, as well. Uh, but spaces will throw it off later on in my experience anyway so now we have our two profiles what we'll want to do first is go ahead and launch it what we're going to do is assign different themes to them so that you can just kind of see the difference when we're opening them up so we'll launch the Amazon one here in a new browser there it goes and for this one, let's just go down to our settings and then our add-on themes. And this part, it doesn't really matter which theme you pick. So we'll just pick this one, add. All right, so now our Amazon one kind of looks like this, whatever that is. Now let's go ahead and launch our Google. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Let's just come down to our themes. And we can assign this one Let's use whatever this theme is here. Okay, so now we have our two themes assigned to our two profiles. So we can go ahead and close out and then close out of the main window. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and right click on the browser icon. Then you go down to properties. You want to do a hyphen P space the name of your profile. So in our case, it's going to be Amazon space another hyphen and then it's going to be no remote and we can go ahead and close this one out and we're going to want to go ahead and do the same thing over here but this one it's going to be hyphen p name of our profile which is going to be google and then no, hyphen no hyphen remote and then we can go ahead and close this. So now when we click on Firefox web browser, this one will open up as the Amazon. We can click on the next one down. And it's going to open up as the Google. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and right click here 
go into your properties. You could change it here to say Google and then change it. If you will click on the Firefox icon, come up here and you type in Fire. Say we want to change this to this color. Now we have an icon that says Google. When we click on it, it's going to go ahead and pull up our Google Firefox profile. And we can go ahead and right click on Firefox again. And we can rename this one Amazon and change the icon as well. You can change it to anything over here. I just like using the Firefox icons. And then we can go ahead and delete this one off our main. Now if you come down here and you click on it and it pulls up like it's pulling up um, the wrong profile, you can just switch it back which is to, let's see, you want to go back into about, semicolon profiles, then you can say set as a default, launch profile in new browser, then once that launches, go ahead and close this, and this one should now launch into just your regular browser. So you can have your regular browser, your Amazon browser, and your Google browser. And you can name them whatever you'd like. You can have multiple, you have more of them if you'd like. But that about wraps up this video. So if you liked it, um, this should work for the same for Windows or for Linux Mint, um, but specifically for Linux Mint. But if you like the content, go ahead and like it, uh, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.